KARK 4 News at 5 continues. Today is all about giving thanks for our freedom. And one Arkansas woman waves her pride high for all to see. Coming up later, we'll meet the woman behind Arkansas's flag and banner. Well, there are many Arkansans who exemplify the American dream. And on this national holiday, we'll introduce you to one of them. You probably know her best as the flag and banner lady. Her story coming up next. KARK 4 News at 5 continues. Today is a day to show our pride for America. And tonight, we want to introduce you to a woman living here in Arkansas who exemplifies the American dream. KRK 4's Melissa Seamus profiles someone quite recognizable, Carrie McCoy. Or you may know her best as the flag and banner lady. If you have ever looked up at the sky to see a flag waving in Arkansas, chances are it was purchased at Arkansas Flag and Banner. The company's owner, Carrie McCoy, pays attention to detail. One thread of the fabric, so to speak, that has made her successful. You don't really grow up to be a flag salesperson. You don't really think about that. But life leads you in many directions, and that's where it led me. Carrie's rise in the business world has been far from picture perfect, though. And that was early in the business. After graduating from high school, she went to a Votex school in Dallas. Her dream? to work in fashion merchandising. But with a recession in place in the mid-70s, Carrie's plans were altered. What's the first thing that goes during a recession? buying clothes and eating out at restaurants. So I couldn't get a job in the fashion merchandising business at all. But lucky for Arkansans, Carrie did get a job selling flags in Dallas. Feeling homesick later brought her back to Little Rock where much to her delight, no one was selling flags. And so with just $400 and a yellow Camaro, she started her business. I would start going door to door and I would say, if you'll buy a flag from me and pay cash up front, I'll give you a 2% discount. So I would take the money from them, give them a 2% discount for money up front, and then I would buy them a flag that I would sell to them, and I would buy myself a flag that I put in stock. It took years before Carrie could stop working, sometimes three jobs. But after a number of business risks, such as buying this historic building, the business venture that started in her dad's office today brings in $3 million a year in sales. I actually am still kind of in fabric. If you think the American dream means you've come from small and you're doing okay, then yes, I'm definitely living the American dream. And Carrie's next project is to renovate the Dreamland Ballroom, which is on the third floor of her building. Well-known performers like B.B. King, Ella Fitzgerald, and Louis Armstrong all played there. And Carrie wants to open it up for community functions.